yes, we have a double integral, and uh, the first one is going from 0 to 1, and then the next one is pi y to pi sin x over x dx dy. Oh my god, right? And the problem with this is that we have this double integral with x going first. So let's try to change the order of integration. But you have to be really careful of the region that we are dealing with. If it's a rectangular region that we are integrating over, then we can just change x, uh, dx and dy, that's no problem. But if it's a function here, then I would recommend you guys to sketch the uh, region and then do the following. So check this out. So right here, all right, x is equal to pi y. So right here, x is equal to pi times y. Okay, so we look at this and then we go to x is equal to pi. So we have this right here and then x is equal to pi that stays right here. So it's a vertical line. Don't forget this is x equal to pi. And then next, we look at dy. So I'll put this down red. Yeah. If we look at dy, y goes from 0 to 1. So this is y equal to 0. And then of course, you can double check. This right here will be y equal to 1. So the region that we're talking about is this bottom bottom uh, triangle here. Originally, we go horizontally. Right? Um, we have this to that. So now we have to look at this vertically. So we draw a vertical rectangle because we want to go with dy first. So this right here, I want to have dy going first and then dx. And then we have the integral. Oh, sorry. dy will be with red, and then dx will be with black. And the function inside does not change. It still does a function right here. So we still have the sine x over x. So if you have the dy right here integrating that, it's so much easier because x is like a constant in the y world. I'll show you guys how to integrate that in like a second. But how do we do it all? As I said, we draw a vertical rectangle. So look at this right here first. For the blue part, you see y goes from zero from the bottom. And then once we reach to the top, this y value, well, is this equation. We will have to isolate this y, and y equals one over pi times x. And I will just write this. Uh, yeah, one over pi times x. So that's that. Then for the x part, well, it's still going from 0 to x, that means 0 to pi, you see? dx, you start with this x value, and then with this x value, so we still go with 0 to pi. So that's that. Now let's integrate this, very easy. Outside, you keep it, integral of going from 0 to pi. Inside, we have sine x over x. In the y world, you just have the y here. That's it. Okay. Integral sine x over x dx. This right here is si of x plus c. Integral sine x over x if you have dy. If there's no connection with x and y, meaning you don't say like y is equal to x squared or whatnot, none of this, you know, that you substitution, no, none of that, then the integral of this is just sine x over x times y, plus maybe not constant because usually we deal with a definite integral in this situation. All right, and then we go from zero to one over pi x and then dx after that. This is integral going from zero to pi, sine x over x and then we have x over pi yeah and then plugging zero we just get zero so this is okay so that dx guess what this and that cancel <laughs> and we will get one over pi at the front and then integral going from zero to pi sine x dx Right, work this out on your own. This is one over pi times two. So we get two over pi. Yeah, just like that. 